Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to delete folder with files from FTP server by using SSIS package. So we, what we are going to learn in this video, how to connect to FTP server and explore the different folders and files and uh, uh, see how we can use Internet Explorer or Mozilla or Chrome to connect to the FTP server. And then we are going to learn how to create a SSIS package from scratch and then create a variable in SSIS package to save some values for remote folder. And next we will be learning how to use FTP task to delete remote folder and we are going to check some limitations on that part. And finally, we will be using a script task to come over on those limitations and we will learn how to delete the folder with the files. So let's go and open uh, any uh, Internet Explorer or uh, Mozilla or whatever you like, open one of them. And then what you have to provide here, you have to provide the IP address of your FTP server or you have to provide the name. So in this case, like, let's say we have ftp.microsoft.com and you might have your company name and that's how it will work. So you have to provide FTP dot uh, your company name and then dot com or whatever. And uh, here I'm using ftp.microsoft.com just to show you these are the folders on the Microsoft FTP server um, that uh, we have here and we can go in them and there are some documents for read only and all that. Now in my case I'm using the FTP address. So there are multiple ways you can connect. You can use the name or you can use IP of that FTP server. Once uh, we are here we have the folders and if you see here we have sales folder and the sales folder does not have any file as of now so now what is our requirement we want to create an ssis package that can delete this folder from ftp server so that's uh, fine let's go and create our ssis package once you are in the project, I'm using SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. If you are using old version, you will be using bids. So right click on SSIS packages and then you will say new SSIS package. And here we can say pkg underscore delete folder with files from FTP. And we are going to delete the folder. The folder name, what we have here is the sales. That's what we want to delete it. It does not have any files as of now. That's fine. We will test that part later. So let's create a variable called remote folder. And here it is going to be string. And we call we provide the value backslash sales. So that's how you will be providing the name of the folder you start with the backslash and then provide the folder next uh, we will be using ftp task and uh, once we open the ftp task we have to make a connection to the ftp server so let's create a new connection and here we can provide that uh, server name or uh, the ip address if i will go ahead and copy this one from here and just provide as it is here and uh, let's do it this try and uh, then we'll see what happened provide your password and test the connection now if you test the connection it's saying connection cannot be established server name port name or credential may be invalid so i know that nothing is invalid in my case name and password is correct the only thing we have to avoid we have to remove this ftp colon backslash backslash this uh, connection manager does not accept that uh, and uh, if you are providing the server name uh, also you have to remove that part so you will just leave with ftp.yourcompanyname.com so just the ip or the name you don't have to provide ftp colon and backslash and, and uh, you also don't have to provide backslash now sorry <laughs> i just hit okay but uh, if we go back here and we can test our connection just provide the password here Now it should be just work fine. It is uh, tested uh, successfully. Hit OK. 
now let's rename this one and call this one FTP connection now we are all good next part we are going to go to file transfer and here we will be going to operation and say remove a remote directory and here we will be using the variable because we have saved the folder into remote folder variable so that's what we want to do hit ok now if I run this one what happen it is going to remove that folder from the FTP server it ran successfully let's stop the package go back to the FTP and take a look and you have to provide the username and password so we can see that the sale has gone the sale folder is dropped now let's go back I have one package that can create folder and directories so I'm gonna create the directory back okay and then I'm gonna load one file let me see what file I have uh, I can select any file from here let's uh, tsql.txt so if we run this one what I'm doing I'm using these FTP tasks to load the data or the file to that folder so now if we go back and check it I have sales folder back and then I have the uh, one file tsql.txt now if I go back and run my package delete folder what is going to happen it did uh, fail and it is telling us uh, okay this is the error the directory is not empty so first of all what we have to do we have to drop all those files from a folder and then need to run this uh, drop uh, remote directory FTP task to delete that directory but uh, that's also kind of, kind of confusing if you, I will even get another FTP task here and delete everything let's say this is going to work it will delete everything so the files will be deleted and I can use that let me show you limitations so here we want to let's say delete remote files and uh, here we can say okay we want to delete everything from sales and asterisk dot asterisk so this is how we will delete all the files but what happened if I will run this package now this is going to delete the file so file is there it's going to delete the file then the directory will be deleted but I'm going to show you one limitation right after this one now everything looks good right so it is dropped successfully here if we go back uh, we do not see this directory anymore let's refresh so it is gone come back let's create uh, this directory one more time and uh, this time we are not gonna put any files there all good stop the package and now we go to delete folder with files here this one is deleting the files and uh, this one is deleting the folder so if we go back here we can take a look if we want this time we do not have any file sitting in the sales folder so if I go back and run it what happened the first one is trying to delete the files so it failed it said that oh I can't find any file so um, there, there's an error so it is and does not exist because there are no files in this uh, folder on the FTP server so this task will fail that's the reason uh, we can't really come up with a solution uh, by using FTP tasks uh, so we have to come up uh, first uh, to check if the files are there if files are there we want to delete them and then we want to delete the directory so with these ones we can't check okay if the file exists so that that's not possibility so we have to r use a different route in this case uh, what we need to do we need to use script task so I'm gonna use the script task first of all let me create the folder and directory back so run these ones it's gonna create a directory first and then sorry let's see create folder and directory okay directory is already there let me just down upload the file okay now what we have here 
we have a, a directory with the file and we are going to create a, or use a script task here instead of using a, the FTP tasks by using a script task we will be doing two things first of all we will be checking if the files exist we will drop those files and then remove the directory and if there is no file we will just remove the directory without deleting file because there are no files so here I'm going to use Microsoft Visual Basic and then I have to get the variable remote directory and that's it then we have edit script and I have prepared script for you guys I'm gonna copy this script and I will walk you through each and every line and we will just paste it we don't want to waste the time to write it here so I'm gonna to come to the main and then paste the script here and then I'm gonna walk you through so here what I'm doing I'm declaring some variables and I'm saying dim string folder array that's array that can hold more than one folder name and then we have a string file array that can hold multiple file names and then we have local variable called dim remote directory so I have created this variable so you, I can save the value of remote folder variable from SSIS and then keep using this one instead of write this whole line every time so then we have saved the values into remote directory and the values coming from remote folder and if you guys know that is backslash sales that we have set in the SSIS package next uh, what we are doing here we are saying dim connection manager as connection manager DTS dot connections so use FTP connection manager that we have created in SSIS package and then uh, we will be acquiring that connection so these two lines will be acquiring uh, the FTP connection we have created in the SSIS package then we are going to connect to the uh, FTP server by using this connection and uh, next uh, we are saying uh, provide the directory that we want to drop so here we are setting that directory as working directory so once I set this directory as working then I can get two things from here I can get uh, all the folders names in the folder array and I can get uh, all the file names in the string file array so here we are not concerned about the folder array because we always know that our folder is going to keep only the files and if we have the folders then we have to come up with different approach to drop those folders first and then drop the files and then drop the parent folder but here the scenario is simple we have only files in that folder now we are checking if string file array is nothing that means there is no file existing what we are going to do we are going to drop the directory we say FTP delete remote directory that's the function we will be using and then we have to provide the remote directory so we have that's that simple line will delete the directory because there is no file and then we are saying if sorry then we said if is done then we said else if there are files so we are saying FTP dot delete files and then we say string file array so we drop all those files and then we delete the directory and then we close the connection so there are two things if there is no file we drop the direct directory without checking anything and if there are files we will drop the files first and then drop the directory so that's how it's gonna work so uh, just uh, save it build it build succeeded hit ok now go back to the package hit ok I have this script on the blog post and you will see in the video description you can copy and paste and use it and now as of now what we have sales directory we have with file so it, it should delete both of them that was not possibility with the FTP task and we had to use two, two of them and also there was limitation when there is no file so now we can see that this completed successfully go back and take a look on the FTP refresh so the folder with file is deleted so there could be multiple files it will be deleted now let's check the other scenario where we have just the folder sitting there and there is no file 
we want to check both scenarios if uh, our package works uh, fine so we are going to go we I just created the folder by using another package so sales uh, folder is created it does not have any it does not have any files as of now and if we will run our script task it should just work fine and delete the folder as there are no files so this script task will work if the files are in the folder it will drop those files first and drop the folder and if there are there are no files in the folder it will just drop the folder so let's go back it should have dropped the sales folder refresh so it is gone so that's how you will be using script task in SSIS package to do multiple operations such as dropping the files first and then dropping the folder after checking if the files exist so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video